Hi friends, we'll create a dictionary by using pandas data frame. Now for that let's uh, declare a df equal to pd dot uh, data frame. This is the data frame we are creating. We'll take data from a dictionary. Here it is the dictionary is here. You can see there are id, name, class, mark, gender. These are the keys and there are three three values against each keys. So this is how we'll generate our uh, data frame. Now from this data frame we'll let us create a dictionary. We'll give the name as my dict equal to df dot. Now to dict function we are using. We are not using any option right now. We'll explore that. So now my dict is there. So now let's print my dict and see how the dictionary looks. Uh, here it is. Fine. So this is the dictionary's output. Now we can just check it also. What's the output type? So it's a dictionary or anything else. So let's run this and verify. Yeah. Now we'll op explore the other options. By default this uh, option orient orient is dictionary or whatever it is normally we take it now let's uh, just use the print command so let's run this this is the default orient of value so this is dict now this we can change it to list so by using list we can see it will change the values these are you watch this is a list option now now this from this list we can take a series also let's take series yeah, this is a series of series option output. Similarly, let's change this series to split. See the output now. This is split. Now from you can also give as records. Record is output is here. This is like our record. Now next is our index. I think we have covered all the six now or six options. This is orient is index. Let's see. This is our uh, index. Now we'll take the data. U usually we create a dictionary, uh, sorry, data frame by using uh, a dictionary. But the reverse thing requirement comes when you create a data frame by using a Excel or a CSV file or a MySQL database. There you directly create a data frame. Then the requirement may come that from this data frame we will go to create a dictionary. And these are mostly otherwise we always create a, from a dictionary we go to a data frame. Now we will learn how from MySQL database we will take the create a data frame and from that data frame we will go to the dictionary again. We'll first connect to MySQL database by using SQL Kemi engine. So here you can see we have used our user ID password and this is our database name. So this connection we'll use. So first let's write the SQL equal to, we'll say select star from student. Student is my table, table name and we'll, we'll not use all the records. So we'll collect zero to three records, three records only we'll collect. collect. So now let's uh, create the our uh, data frame. Data frame is equal to pd dot read SQL we'll use. First we'll give the our SQL query, then the connection. Connection is my connection is here we have declared it. So this we are using. Now our data frame is ready. From this data frame we are dictionary we are, we are collecting my dict equal to df dot to dict. Now this we are now we are not giving any option. Let's see let's we'll uh, uh, print our uh, dictionary and see how the output is. Now let's run. Okay, this is our output. We have collected three records only. So it is showing giving me three records everywhere. So now I can change it to suppose I want more records. I will change it to limit. I will extend to five. I will get five records. So this is how we will get data from our MySQL table, create a data frame and from data frame we have gone to a dictionary. Now the same process we will use by using Excel as a source. We'll remove this MySQL part from here and use our Excel file, path of the Excel file. Now I'm just deleting this and pasting it here. You can see this is the Excel file, student Excel file I have in this uh, D directory. In, uh, inside D directory, my data is my directory name. Sorry, D drive, my data is my directory name. Then I am using read Excel to read the file and generate the uh, uh, my data frame. So DF is ready. Now, oh, sorry, this line also is not required. Okay, now my dict is my dictionary, whatever uh, is I'll be creating by using to dict here. So that's all, let's run this. 
you can see it's a big excel file so i'm getting lot of data from here all the records are coming up here now instead of excel i can even go for csv i'll use read csv and then the same directory same path i have a csv file it's same as student csv so file name i have changed and i have used the method read csv so instead of read excel so it's a csv file I'll get the same because this file has got less uh, records so I got the output this is how we'll create a uh, dictionary from a uh, data frame